welcome to amg tonics so today i am going to demonstrate the set point operation in ssrt model so here you can see so this is a wing ssrt uh, wing scale motherboard so so basically it has a, a power connection so you can give the direct uh, 12 volt ac supply here then it has a switch on off switch which is connected to the this con connector then again uh, we so this ssrt support the 5 pin keypad so you can directly connect the keypad on this connector that i have shown here and the next will contain the uh, frc connector which is main use for the display connection so you can see this frc cable goes to this uh, frc connector then again this connector has a uh, used for this rs232 rs485 connection so for this demonstra uh, demonstration so we will not demonstrate rs232 uh, feature okay and so this is one of the application that you can uh, use the 50 mm or 100 mm remote display for uh, transferring the data wirelessly <coughs> so this is a the this connector is used for the connecting the load cell four wire load cell so and this is the main uh, connector used for the uh, set point operation so basically ssrt suppose uh, support three set point set, uh, set point one set point two set point three and it has it has additionally two digital input which can be used for any uh, any other specific application but currently we don't have any requirement on this uh, digital input so it is kept as open okay so you you can see so just ignore this connector and con uh, just consider this four pin connector so first connection is of common which which will go to the uh, relay card of 12 volt okay then the, the next next uh, black color is connected to uh, di digital output one the blue is connected to the digital output uh, two and three is connected to the digital output three okay so you can see the close connection so as mentioned that so this is the main common connection for relay this is the uh, relay one relay two relay three so here you can see so just uh, i have given this common connection to the relay basically so we have four relay but i will use the only three relay. so this is relay one relay two and relay three so here you can see so this is common connection so i have just loop, looped this common connection to the uh, two uh, three relays so just this wire comes so i just looped here so you can see the looping and also i looped for the third relay so here the black wire is connected for the relay one output so you can see the here one relay one goes to the output of for the relay one the blue goes for the second relay that here and green goes for third relay okay so ssrt mainly support 12 volt uh, relay output so it does not support 5 volt or 24 volt so make sure that you have 12 volt relay with you so and also you don't uh, require additional power supply to turn on this relay so ssrt has capability to provide the 12 volt and to, which can turn on the uh, three relays so so this is good for so you don't require additional power supply for relay card okay okay so now i will give the uh, set point operation demonstration so already i have connected this uh, power supply so just i will turn on this uh, button so ssrt will get turned on okay So here version number is important then this is a normal so if you put some weight on the display so it will show the weight exact 200 gram okay so now so for this relay operation first of all you need to configure the uh, set point so there are uh, there is a menu called as a p4 which is used for the set point configuration so i will go through the uh, this menus so so this is a menu so how you can go into the this configuration menu 
so first of all uh, you need to uh, you you need to have this uh, operation manual uh, that is a document revision uh, version 2.1 and it's a software version f80 h1.7 so this is a software version and this is a hardware version okay so this many uh, th uh, this is the menu basically used for this uh, set point operation so how you can go into the menu when this is in normal mode so normal mode is nothing but it is in wait mode okay so when display showing this uh, digit then you need to press the shift key for 5 second then this menu will appear that is p3 and p4 so basically p4 is for the set point operation so for, uh, so 4.1 here you can enable and disable buzzer indication if one of the set point is get uh, achieved so if you want to uh, turn on the buzzer at set point just you can make it and so this four point is nothing nothing but the uh, hysteresis for set point this is used for to avoid uh, chattering of the relay if suppose a set point uh, suppose to we have set the set point of 200 mg and if it is uh, the set point is reach so there should be not any chattering because some due to some variation the weight will get a toggle between like 198 to uh, 198 to 200 or or 202 so to avoid this uh, fluctuation so you can use the uh, this setting here so basically you need to set uh, values like from 1 to 255 and it will uh, suppose i have set this 4.2 as a 2 okay and uh, the accuracy i have configured as a 4 gram so total uh, total set point hysteresis will be 2 into 4 equal to 8 gram okay so so p3 here you can uh, configure the set point one value uh, in 4.4 you can configure the second set point value and 4.5 you can configure for the set point three value okay and if if you don't want to use this uh, any specific uh, set point just make the set point value as zero okay and then p uh, 4.6 is is for the uh, different application so uh, for this please kindly ignore this uh, for this demonstration okay so now i will move towards the our uh, board and i will uh, show you how to enter these values okay <clears throat> so this is a keypad shift key increment decrement and enter so just i will press and this will come into normal uh, weighing mode okay okay now i need to press this shift key for 5 second then this p3 will come then i will press increment key to go into the next menu so this is the menu where we can configure the uh, set point uh, set point for the relay operation so i will press as a enter key here and Uh, this is 4.1 value so here if you want to uh, don't use the buzzer indication when set point reach so make it make it as a zero else if you want to set point uh, when set point reach and buzzer you want to uh, turn on then make as zero oh, sorry one so for this i will make as zero so i don't want buzzer indication when set point is reached okay uh, the second 4.2 is for the accuracy as now i have configured the uh, weight accuracy as 2 and here if suppose uh, i set value as here 1 so it will consider the set point as a 1 into accuracy that is 1 into 2 equal to 2 okay then second uh, menu is 4.3 so it is a set point 1 so here by default it will come as a 200 here i can change it so i will make a, as a 400 here okay so just enter then i will make at 4.3 uh, sorry 4.4 is for the uh, second uh, relay output so i will make as a 600 gram and this is uh, p4.5 is for the uh, third uh, relay output or third set point so i will make as a 800 so now we have configured the uh, three set point just ignore this 4.6 value it is used for the future uh, applications so now i will come out the menu by pressing this shift key for long time 
now you can see so it is going to the wait mode so just i will press uh, simply wait so here uh, you can uh, observe that when wait wait reached so this relay will get on so led will get turned on when this particular set point is reached and you will hear some sound okay so first relay is set to 400 gram so i will make as a 400 gram so you can see the second uh, set point is reached the when weight goes to more than 400 gram now i will press the weight you can see the second relay is output when weight is more than uh, 600 and the third relay should be on when the weight is reached to the more than 800 gram so here you can see the 800 gram so this is a simple uh, set point indication uh, application here <clears throat> here you can use the different set point configuration like 1 kg 2 kg depending upon your uh, requirement so so this is very good uh, board for uh, three point uh, relay operations you can use for any uh, industrial uh, automation or any check wing application so so i will say thank you for watching this video and uh, if you have any more question please uh, kindly uh, get contact with the amg tonics team for uh, further support thank you